Welcome back to American Latino TV. Up next, we have a story of someone who stumbled onto her passion almost accidentally. Growing up, Patty Rodriguez wasn't quite sure what she wanted to do, but she always knew she wanted her voice to be heard. So she started interning on radio at the age of 17 in pursuit of a career in the media. Today, the LA native is the senior producer for the Ryan Seacrest show on KISS FM. But not even an enviable position on a fabulous radio show was able to truly fulfill her. So she started designing jewelry in her spare time. Then, as if by fate, her line of accessories she calls Mala caught the eye of none other than Miley Cyrus, who then wore it on the cover of a major magazine. The rest, shall we say, is history, some of which will be told by Patty herself right here, right now on American Latino TV. Hi, my name is Patty Rodriguez, and I'm a senior producer for the Ryan Seacrest radio show on KISS FM. Uh, on our way to a meeting here at the Radio Ranch, I understand we have a new visitor, Alexander the baby. In a nutshell, I work with a team of producers to create uh, content and just create a good show that all of the lake can just love. It's a very small group of people and we just, you know, we know each other like family. We spend probably more time with each other than we do with our own families. We have a really good relationship. You know, he, he surrounds himself with a, with a team that he trusts. But in spite of her successful rise within the radio ranks, Patty's passion for self-expression took an unexpected turn that eventually fulfilled one of her biggest dreams. Miley Cyrus is the one that started everything. I was looking for a necklace, or I wanted a necklace that had, you know, the city that I grew up in, and um, I wasn't gonna find it anywhere. So I decided to make it myself. The girls at work and the guys were like, where'd you get it? I'm like, oh, I made it. And they're like, you know, can we, you make me one too? And um, my coworker, Nelson, was wearing uh, a necklace that I made, which was 818, area code for the valley in LA. She saw it and he ends up giving it to her. Next thing I know, like a few weeks later, she's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine wearing it. And I remember, when I was 16 years old, I wanted to be in that magazine. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm like, there was my, with my mom, like, Mom, remember when I wanted to be a writer for Rolling Stone magazine? And you know how it, it never happened? But I'm in the cover now. Going back to Nelson, he's like, Patty, you need to like sell these things. You know, you need to make them and, and you know, have people wear them. And I'm like, no, I don't see myself as a jewelry designer. Like, you know, who's gonna buy these? I have, you know, Rihanna, who's a fan. She's, you know, she's seen, she's been photographed wearing it. Also, you have like, you know, Becky G, who I love. Chiki Rivera, Jenny Rivera's um, oldest daughter. She's also a fan. My first sale was September 19th of 2013. And um, I'm doing it all through Instagram. And I feel so blessed to be able to have this like core of, you know, followers via Instagram that, you know, I can, I can relate to. They inspire me and I inspire them. You know, and a dream is to be able to give jobs to, you know, many more people. <laughs> the essence of the line is to be proud of where you come from. Be proud of who you are of your culture. That's why I put it in Spanish. And I also wanted to put my name on it because I wanted everyone to know that there was a Hispanic behind it. It's been unbelievable. How do you ask me if I was going to be a jewelry designer seven months ago? I would have probably said, you're crazy. <laughs> 